Hello everyone, I am Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks and today let's make a coffee table. All right, so this coffee table is going to be made out of southern yellow pine. Really cheap, but there's a reason why. It doesn't need to be anything fancy because it's getting stained with a rustic stain that will make the wood appear to be reclaimed wood. That's the request of the customer. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm using two by fours for everything, glued together, milled together, joined together, that sort of stuff. The first thing I need to do for this project is head over to the table saw and cut down my two by fours, which are three and a half inches wide, to be a total of three inches wide which will also get rid of the roundover on the sides. Let's go to the table saw and get started. All right, I now have all the two by fours cut and laid out. This table top for the coffee table is gonna be 36 inch circle, so a 36 inch diameter. These are each three um, inches wide. Uh, I added one more, so I have 13 total, so it's 39 inches right now just to give me a little extra room. And then they're four foot long, again, just for extra room. I'm gonna biscuit joint all these together. So normally when you do a biscuit joint, the two pieces that you're joining, you scribe a line, that way you can line up your biscuits. To make things easy, I'm just gonna use this square and just go all the way across all these boards. They're fat enough where I can do a biscuit from each side without problems. So I have this edge of all the two by fours lined up. I'm gonna scrub some lines and then we'll be ready for biscuit joints. To set up my biscuit joiner, I set the depth of the biscuit cut, the hole, if you will, at three quarters of an inch. And the reason is because I'm using inch and a half two by fours, so that puts it right in the middle. Also my biscuit joiner, and for this project, I'm using number 20 biscuits. All right, so now all of my pieces have the biscuits um, jointed into them, the, the recess for the biscuits. So now I just have a whole heck of a lot of gluing to do and installing biscuits. Um, I have my large parallel clamps underneath here. When I get everything together, I'm gonna try to just squeeze the crap out of it um, to make these joints as tight as possible. The biscuits are mainly just for alignment. Um, also to keep everything in line after I get you know everything glued up and ready and I apply pressure to these clamps I'm also going to put some like clamping calls on the top and bottom edges of each side clamp everything down just to hold all the boards in line this way um, all right so let's get to work gluing All right, now that our panel is dry, I have it out of the clamps, all the two by fours are together. I'm gonna scrape some of this glue squeeze out off, just get a little bit more even surface. Um, eventually I'll sand this down to completely flatten it, but for now I just need it flat enough where my router can go around. I've made a circle cutting um, template here for my router. Basically the router goes in here, this goes in the center, and then it spins around like this to cut a circle, and I'll have a groove cutting bit in my router. This is made specifically for this project. The customer wants a 36 inch diameter diameter, 36 inch round um, coffee table. So from the center of this hole opening to here is exactly 18 inches. So again, this will go in the center or roughly. Um, again, we made this a little bit wider than what we actually need. So as long as I have enough room, um, I will put a, a nail or something temporary there to hold that and then it will pivot and cut that out. 
My groove cutting bit will not go a full inch and a half, which is the thickness of these two by fours, which is fine. If I can just get an inch um, or three quarters of an inch even, if I can get halfway through, I will then come back, flip it over, put a flush trim bit on there. The bearing on the flush trim bit will register off the circle that I already cut, and then we'll clean it up, cut it fully out, make it a complete circle. Um, I Probably before I do the flush trim, I'll cut out rough out with a jigsaw, but other than that, so let's get started with the router. All right, now that we have the tabletops cut out, we need to make some legs. This is gonna be the shape of the legs. There's gonna be three of them, and it's gonna look like it kind of blends into the top and to the bottom. So I've already made this template, and then I transferred that onto some two by four. So the way I'm gonna do this is one two by four this way, and I'm gonna glue blocks here and here, and then I'll trace it and cut it out after the glue dries. I already have one table leg made, so now I need to make two more. So I'm gonna take one of these two by fours, again, two of these blocks, glue them there and glue two up here let the glue dry and we'll go from there All right, while the glue dries on the table legs, I'm now gonna clean up these top, both sides of these slabs. Even though one's gonna be the top, one's gonna be the bottom, they both need to be perfectly flat, sanded, clean up all the glue, squeeze out, stuff like that. So I'm gonna work on that now. So now our glue ups are done, they've dried overnight. The next thing I'm gonna do is use my template, lay it on here and trace out where I need the legs to be. And after I get that done, so we're gonna trace this, trace this, this side and this side. Do the same thing on this one. Once I get that done, I'm gonna use my jigsaw and probably con uh, in combination with my bandsaw cut those out, sand them down real good. After that, when I install it onto the round table, not only do these need to be cut, but this whole thing needs to have a radius on it because it needs to match the radius of that table. So I have a jig set up to match the radius of the round portion that I can then put on here to check to see if it matches that. The way I'm gonna do that is on the belt sander um, and then I'll have to do a little bit with a palm sander. But for now, let's trace these, cut this out.
the table is now complete. I've added the round over, I've sanded everything. It's ready to go, ready for stain, ready for delivery. Thanks for watching this video. You can find this project and more on my website at rockyriverwoodworks.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. That helps keep my channel going so I can keep making videos like this. You can find me on social media across all platforms at Rocky River WW. I'm Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks. Thank you for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this project, I have another video right here that I think you're going to enjoy. Be sure to click here to watch more of my videos.